All of this is happening on the 50th anniversary of the riots known as the Days of Rage. At the time, America was entangled in the Vietnam War. Anti-war protesters took their emotions to the streets of Chicago against the backdrop of the Democratic National Convention. The violence was a watershed in U.S. politics. But despite what people may think about the current political climate under the Trump administration, nothing seems to compare to the disruption of 1968. Here's Eric Sorensen. For Democrats, there is just so much to protest this summer. The Supreme Court, guns, white supremacists, and at the heart of it all, a president they believe is doing unparalleled harm to the country. These are such horrible times. Betsy Polling says it's worse than the Nixon administration. We have to keep going. This is a long haul. But as grim as it looks, today is nothing like the violence that roiled politics 50 years ago. Police swirling all around us, people screaming, being dragged to the paddy wagons, a scene of wild disorder. Chicago, 50 years ago tonight, outside the Democratic National Convention in a year like no other. In 1968, 16,000 Americans were killed in the Vietnam War. Anti-war sentiment so strong among Democrats, the Democratic President, Lyndon Johnson, said this. I shall not seek, and I will not accept, the nomination of my party for another term as your president. There was a cascade of terrible events that year. The war. Martin Luther King was assassinated. Robert Kennedy, running to succeed Johnson, was himself killed. Ladies and gentlemen, Kennedy has been shot. By the time Democrats convened in Chicago that summer, even the politics had become incendiary. Chicago police are now in the aisle chair with billy clubs, clearing people out. The entire world was watching. Journalists who were there say it's a mistake to equate the Trump era with that. So pump the brakes on your desperation about 2018 and reflect on the fact that we survived. There are parallels to the politics then and now. In 68, Democrats picked an establishment candidate and lost the White House to Richard Nixon. Decades later, the Democrats would give up the White House again, ushering in Donald Trump. Opponents are mobilizing as they do every election cycle. Just to bring more awareness to what's going on in Washington. But we are not seeing anything like the historic violence surrounding politics in 1968. And the battle was on.